Uh, Phil, would you tell some words about your career? My career, I was lucky enough to uh, start singing professionally very young. Uh, but I got luckier even still when I uh, first started working with the uh, Russian people in New York. Uh, they kind of uh, reintroduced me to my Italian roots. Uh, when I came from Italy, I stopped listening to Italian music and the uh, Russian people, when I started working with them, they said, Philip, you must sing in Italian. I, was, I don't know any Italian songs, you know. And, uh, they actually taught me some songs, so I'm very grateful to the Russian community in America and Canada to, that, uh, for reintroducing me to, to my, uh, my native music. Oh, do you like Russian music? Oh, absolutely. There are, there are some uh, really great composers out there. Uh, my favorite is uh, Max Fadiev, Maxim Fadiev. Uh, I had the pleasure of uh, co collaborating with him. And, uh, my wife right now, uh, Nargis, is, is going to be doing some stuff with him. And, uh, big, big pleasure. I love uh, Grigory Lieps. Uh, Do you know him? No, I, I never had the chance to meet him. Uh, got the chance to meet Grigorov, Philippe, uh, some other people. Oh, Leonid Agutin. I, I can't forget. He's, he's wonderful. And uh, Pelagia. I met really nice people. Really nice. Uh, they, they were working on, uh, on Golis, uh, the show Golis with my wife. And uh, I had the pleasure of sitting down with them and having a little party and drinking and laughing. And it was wonderful. Really great. Are you going to sing some uh, Russian songs today? Yeah, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be singing a couple, uh, a couple of my favorites. Uh, one is a Bandis Petersburg. It's a film. The television show that was yeah. a while back. And the uh, Grigory Lev song, uh, the, the uh, Rim Kavorki. I'll, I'll enjoy that. Okay. Are you going to sing some Italian songs? Uh, not next set. I, I think I, I did all my Italian stuff for, for, for this set, uh, the first set. Uh, Italian, Spanish. I'll be concentrating on some American stuff, English. American, uh, and some Russian. Have you some hobbies? Or hobbies? Yes. yes. My favorite hobby is boating. I have a little sailboat that I love to tinker with and clean and fix up. You know, a little old boat that I'm refurbishing and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's my favorite thing too. The best thing is to be out in the ocean. Uh, just, just the wind, you know, the air, and the sun by myself, you know, just moving along slowly. It's the best feeling in the world. It gives you a chance to regenerate, recharge your batteries, you know, being away from the ground and, and the streets and the noise and everything. Alex, it is. Great, great feeling. That's my favorite thing. Um, uh, do you like read books? Read books? Yes. I actually, you know, I've had, I haven't had time to read books for quite a while because uh, <laughs> I've been doing, uh, I've been raising a family. Well, we have four children. Uh, you know, the youngest is 14, the oldest is 25. Uh, I'm going to be a grandfather soon, which is uh, really Mike, cool. Looking forward to that. And, my uh, congratulations. It, it, yeah, it, it's a hard job, you know. It, 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 so it doesn't leave much time for hobbies. But uh, four kids. It's, it's but I'm proud of them. Uh, what is your favorite musician? I've always, uh, always loved the classic rock stuff. That was my favorite uh, genre of music. Uh, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. I would love to be able to sing, sing something with Robert Plant or David Gilmore or Roger Waters. Uh, I know that will never happen. <laughs> but but uh, I love that music. They're uh, incredible writers and performers. They're just uh, legends. Do you sing song with your wife, Marquise? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, we actually have one or two songs. No, no, not yet. It's not available on iTunes yet. Uh, we're going to be uh, putting it on iTunes first soon, in the next couple of weeks. There's a duet that we do. You can probably look it up on YouTube. Uh, it's called Siesta. Maxim Fadiev wrote that song. He actually wrote it for uh, Al Pochova. Uh, uh, two stars. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, uh, 
and uh, my wife and I did a cover of it, and uh, you can see it on YouTube. But uh, and, and uh, we haven't recorded uh, much together, but uh, very soon, in the near future, we will be. Uh, look, very look, look, Flash look me. forward to that. <laughs> the answer is running. Away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Uh, I'm looking forward to that, but, uh, recording my wife. Unfortunately, right now she's uh, so busy on tour, she doesn't have a chance to breathe, really. She's running around like crazy city to city. Cities. I was there uh, a couple of weeks ago. and went to three cities. I was actually in, in seven cities in five days. So she's busy. So you see each other very seldom? A couple of times a month. That's Do you miss her? Show, oh, God. and children too. I have no idea. Uh, every night, uh, the nights are the toughest. I, uh, when, when the children are asleep, and I'm by myself, you know, and, uh, and it's a different time zone. That's the hardest part because I can't call her and, and, uh, and talk to her. Uh, so I'm by myself, and uh, that's when I feel that emptiness in my chest. And I just, Che bella cosa la giornata sole, l'aria serena dopo la tempesta, bell'aria fresca pareggia una festa, che bella cosa la giornata sole, mandata sole, che bello in è. That's you know the rest. Okay, thank you. Thank you.